I'm Ethan Fixell, and I travel the world and write about beer. I'm pretty much obsessed with it. I've visited a lot of breweries, but I've never found anything like Budweiser. Their brewmasters are so obsessed with quality that they even taste the water that rinses the cans off the bottling line. The first thing we're going to do is take a look and just make sure it's clean. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're nose nosing it, it too. Like sure. Gonna, we're going to see if we get some aroma out of it. Wait, you're actually taste testing the water that you use to, to rinse bottles with. That seems crazy. Essentially what we have here is a version of what's going on in these fermenters. Could I drink it? You could. Oh! <laughs> that bud's not ready yet. Just about everyone in the world loves fried chicken, so which variety should you try? Uh, all of them. It's fried chicken! <laughs> One of the most popular versions of fried chicken around the globe is chicken schnitzel, or as the Germans call it, chicken schnitzel! Easy to prepare and delicious to eat. This German and Austrian inspired dish is a simple mix of flattened chicken breast, dredged in an egg wash, flour, and breadcrumbs. It's schnitzel time. Mm. Mm. It's like a really tasty chicken cutlet. The schnitzel has a pretty universal flavor that I think would go with a whole variety of foods. More schnitzel please, Mutter. I love it. I understand that you can substitute puff pastry with roti? Yes. What is the benefit of using roti over the puff pastry? Why would you want to do that? Well, one, uh, roti is vegan. Ooh. So there's no butter inside this, um, palm oil. You hear that, you hippies? What is this mixture that you're putting So this in? mixture here is uh, a little bit of our house marinara, a little diced, uh, rendered out pepperoni, mm -hmm. and fresh mozzarella. Wow, so you got a little pizza pocket. Exactly. I don't know if we're legally allowed to say pizza pocket or Probably hot pockets. Probably not. Please don't sue us. <laughs> oh. Much better than that after school stuff you throw in the microwave, huh? Yeah. I hate my mom now. It's not that difficult, but it takes really tough kitchen shears. You're cutting down a little bit of it so it'll fit in the grill. Exactly. See? So you give it a little turkey yeah. brisk. We are going inside this turkey. I know. We have to be careful here. Wait for it. I'm waiting. Oh, oh he's missing. <laughs> <laughs> this is a buddy sport, okay? This is not a one-person ordeal. It's not as fun if you're alone. The verb form of the English word troll dates back to the 1300s, meaning to stroll, to amble. It probably comes from the old French troller, a hunting term that means to wander or to go in quest of game without purpose. Bonjour, I am just trolling about for squirrel! But the most fun use of troll is its noun form. The supernatural monster sense of the word that appears in Lord of the Rings or, well, the best worst movie ever, Troll 2. When I saw that film, I was like, oh my god!